morning guys welcome back to another video i hope you've all had a lovely christmas um and maybe new year i do not know when i'm getting this out <laughs> but yeah seriously i hope you've all had a nice break and got everything you wanted or not as the case normally is <laughs> right i just thought you see i've already started again getting carried away I picked this up just before Christmas off um, Marketplace for free and she'd had it, she, she messed me about a bit, I was supposed to have gone the day before Christmas Eve and then she was messing about with times and everything so I was like oh no it's too late now, you're like 50 minutes away, you know, I'm not coming out now, it's getting dark, um, I'll come out and fetch it tomorrow so she'd left it out overnight i mean who does that to furniture but anyway it's not actually swollen the doors or drawers or anything so luckily i mean they're like the main parts aren't they that you want working properly so luckily that's fine but the legs well hang on let me see if i can shift things out of the way that one fell off this one's all cracked but I don't like it it's all very art deco-y and I don't think that's going to sell is it and half of this chipboard had come up so I was like getting all carried away with scraper as you do because I thought oh yeah I can put I'll pop a new I'll just like pop a new top on but then all this lot's on solid so why the hell do I do that now or do I just fill it to raise it up to its proper um you know back to its proper height I, I, I'm like a twat honestly you know instead of just sticking it back down I knew I was going to put another top on I got all carried away and saw a bit sticking up so got all bloody uh, scraper happy but I took them off, that will not come off yet, so I've got to sort that, but I think I'm going to take the feet off. I've had a look at this, and I mean, it's got to come off somehow, so I'm going to have a go at that. It's not screwed on or anything inside, so it can only be glued on, can't it, and like maybe stapled from the back or whatever. Or after taking all the crap off, would you leave that on? I don't know but yes the feet are coming off I don't quite know what I'm gonna do I might get some skirting board because that's a very similar height and just do it as like a block or because I mean as you know my furniture doesn't sell for a lot so I can't go buying oak and making all these nice pretty things because probably the price of the piece of oak could be what I get for the piece of furniture. But anyway. Yeah, and it doesn't smell either. It was at, I, I was surprised. It was out of a really modern house. I thought, Christ, where you had this? But, you know, each to his own. So, yeah, I've really cocked up with taking all this off. Again. So, I'm going to... I think... I'll have a look on YouTube and see what other people have done. But all the rest of it is solid. It's obviously just started coming up where she'd left it outside. So, I think the easiest thing would be give it all a sand, scrape off what's loose, give it all a sand, and then fill it with like Bondo or something. Yeah, I'll look, I'm, I'm talking American slang now. But yeah, I think that might be the best bit because, like I say, I'm going to put something on the top anyway. Because it is quite damaged and dented and bubbled and what have you so and we know me when we're sanding and filling it never turns out quite right so i just thought i'd show you before i got too carried away who knows when i'll be back because it's absolutely freezing and i really can't be bothered i might take the feet off luckily they're on them on the little legs i mean they might look all right just on the legs so I might just like, you know, fatten that out with some other wood, if you know what I mean. 
but I don't know. But anyway, we'll be back when we're back. All right, guys, see you shortly. Right then, I've stripped it back to its bones, as they say. So I've taken everything off. I'm going to get two new locks because they didn't have a key and the keys I've got don't work. So I've taken them off. They're not they're, they're not that expensive from like B&Q or whatever. But I've taken all the, the legs off and the green handles which really do throw you when you're looking at something. So now what do I do? I quite like the legs a different colour. Mm. I don't know about I don't think I dislike those like door fronts now. But I don't know, it's still not very modern, is it? Do I help to take them off, do we think? I mean I need things that are gonna sell quickly, so really. What do we think? Should I take them off? They don't offend me though, and I don't know what colour I'm thinking. I, I was kind of wanting to do it like quite a brave colour again, but I think I got lucky with the last couple of pieces. But they did go very quickly, so then I'm thinking, would this go very quickly? <sighs> thoughts, thoughts. I might have a oh, I don't know, I don't know what to do. Because without them things on the front, it then looks quite modern again, doesn't it? So, I'll have a think and we'll be back again. Right then, I've took it outside, given it all the sand. I'm not even going to attempt the top. I'm going to get a piece of, piece of plyboard or something to put on the top of that. Yeah, how silly to do all that. But anyway, I've took the casing off the fronts and I've just filled where it damaged and filled the holes. So I'm going to leave it now till tomorrow. But I think it's looking a lot better. Far more modern, isn't it? I'm still not sure on colour, so who knows. I don't think it's going to be white, though. I think white's a bit plain. So... I'll have to have a look through my colour charts and have a look what colour I can go and get. Alright, but I just thought I'd show you. I won't be doing anything now, though, till tomorrow. Alright, so see you shortly. Right then. <laughs> it's uh, the next day. Everything's dried. I mean, what is it with me and my sanding or my filling? I mean, I've used, like, this proper wood filler that you have to mix up, you know, that hardens off and what have you. I get great big bleeding grooves in it and stuff. I mean, it's lovely and smooth, and then you've like got a gat or whatever, or better still, like on here. And I've gone down in the grades on the sandpaper and everything. And as you can imagine, <laughs> this doesn't look too bad. But this filled quite nicely. There'd have been a bit, a little bit more there that needed doing. But it's like it just won't sand flat, and I can't be asked. I annoy myself the fact that I can't do it. So I've got this that was in one of the offcut bins when I got my paint yesterday from being cute. So it's annoying because if it hadn't have had that down it. It's obviously their laminate flooring that they advertise, you know, that they have up on the walls in these DIY shops showing you the colour and what have you. But I've given it a light sand, I've chopped it all to, to fit. You see, in 10 minutes, and this is like done, <laughs> where I've spent bloody ages with that, sanding it and messing about with it. So, we're going to. Uh, glue this on and nail it down all right not be a minute right then I've got me gorilla wood glue
checking that we're still lined up with my ridge everywhere. I actually cut it all right for a change. Right, and then I've got my, my stapler, uh, nailer. I broke one of my batteries. I don't know what I did. But it's not charged, so I'm down to one at present. This is a really cool gadget. If you can afford to get anything, get one of these. They are so easy to use. They're very heavy, though, which is a downfall but they make your life so much easier, it's unreal. Oops, I moved it all now, so I have to line it all back up again. And that's down nice and solid. So I think I don't know what to do with this. I can't decide. I might add a little bit more filler and see what that does if it fills in that gap. Because all this is nice. So I might just make another bit up and go over it lightly and see what that looks like. I mean, it feels like glass when you rub your hands on it, believe it or not. Just a couple of little bits there. So yeah, we'll make some more up and then we'll... I'll come back, I'll not be a minute. Right then, I've just mixed a little bit up and it's the stuff that you have to mix the hardener in with. So... I'm only lightly doing it just to fill in them gaps. I don't want to be stood here sanding again all day. And as usual, I've mixed far too much. But I just use one of these to uh, put it on with. I'll leave that to harden and then I'll just throw that bit in the bin. The thing with this stuff is, though, it only takes about 10 minutes to go like, you know, workable hard. And then within an hour, it's it's solid so that's always quite good too all right so we'll give that 10 minutes to dry and then we'll be back right then who knows what it's going to look like i filled all the little holes where it's um where i nailed it on 
and I've redone that and I've re-sanded it I'm going to give it a coat of primer and have a look what it looks like so I'll take you in and then we'll come back right then I've given everything a nice wash down again and I've just took this is what I use to give it a, a coat of undercoat it's the uh, Zinza Bin Primer and it blocks stains and stops bleed through coming through and everything it's fantastic stuff but it's not um, it's not water friendly at all so use an old brush that you don't mind throwing away I use rollers and I keep them for a few times and then I bin them it's not very you can't really clean it unless you get out all the old sort of turps and everything else but you also want to make sure that you stir it really well because it splits and settles on the bottom but I'm sure all you lot know that by now and all I use is a roller tray and I just pour some on I'm hoping my roller will be alright but I'm not sure whether it will or not it feels all right where's my little handy dander let me find it hopefully it'll be all right we'll soon find out won't we so yeah it feels fine right so all i'm going to do is give everything a coat now so where do we put you so you can see just a second right then I'll just give these a, a quick coat they don't need it um, but it does it does protect you against anything bleeding through which this isn't a bleeder anyway but it just well it makes your paint go on nicer as well I think I've took to um, undercoating everything I do now and it doesn't, it doesn't take long to dry either so it doesn't stop you from getting on Just gives things a nice clean base again for the paint to stick to. Now I shall move over and we'll do this one. Hey, you sat on my chair today. Do you like it? You just know I'm going to knock you off, don't you? And everything's going to smash. But hopefully not, eh? Hey?
like them. So all of it's had a coat. So I think the drawers will need another coat. But also it'll help us see where we've got to fill still as well. So I'll give it 20 minutes or so and then we'll come back. Right then. Uh, got carried away again yesterday. Giving it a coat of the blue. Uh, it's now dried so I'm going to give it another coat. I've tried the... Um, the handles that I'm putting on and they don't fit those holes so I've filled those so I couldn't paint them give them a coat yesterday so I'll sand all that down and then we'll give it another coat right then I've got a bit carried away what do we think uh, I've given it another coat it will want another coat but I didn't know whether to leave that white like that you know, I have the drawers in dark. Um, I've obviously I've got a little, a few touch-ups where it's bled through. Let me just put a couple of drawers in, so you can have a quick look. These have only had one coat, so. Let me tell. You know, if that stays dark, and what if we leave that white? Or should you paint it? Or should I paint over it blue and just have it as detailing? Oh, I can't quite decide. I think I'm gonna have to paint the drawers again and put them in and ask everybody. Hmm. But I've finally I've run out of this again. I've run out of about everything, which is a bit scary because, as we know, our expensive stuff is to to replace. But with the C word and everything, and not going out very often, you run everything down, don't you? And then all of a sudden you ain't got anything, and then you think, yeah, I could do with like a couple hundred pound now just to go and replace everything. <laughs> Oh dear, but it looked a bit plain. It's like I've took out all the detailing off it and then it looked plain. But I don't know if that's too much or not, or whether I should leave it all to dry because I've only just done it. Leave it all to dry and paint over it. It looks really nice this stuff when it's wet because it's like it's quite not it's a nice white but i'll paint my drawers again and we'll leave this to dry and then we'll have a look okay right then what i did was i painted once it was dry the the detailing I gave it a coat, well I gave it two coats of the blue and then I've like wet distressed it so I've like wiped some off. Now looking on through the camera lens here, it looks absolutely atrocious. But in real life it doesn't. It looks like a very, well it looks like a different colour blue doesn't it, but here in real life it don't. So I'm not quite sure what that's about. Uh. So yeah, I'll have to look on my camera before I list it to see if it looks this bad on the camera because if it does then no one's going to send are they? But in real life it doesn't, it just looks, it's the, it's the same blue but you can like see the impression a little bit through it. So I'm not quite sure what I've done there but it may still not be quite dry enough but I don't... I, I think it is. I wonder if I ought to give it another coat. I don't know, because then you're just wiping it off again, aren't you? Oh, you know. You know what? It's turned out to be a bit of a pain in the arse, this has. Uh, I took the lock off. Oh, hang on a sec. And put a new lock on. Yeah, that needs another coat. Um, all I did was just restain in there just to make it look a little bit fresher. 
but it's now got working locks on both sides. I made a um, a keyhole cover with the let's have a look. I use that one because that, I think that's the only one that stands up, isn't it? Yeah, and it's with Tullum Keyholes, and that's a Primo's one. So I've done the drawers. This had um, that's not quite dry yet, but it had that green felt in, so I've had to paint it, and then I've just stenciled all the drawers with a singular flower I'm beginning to think now that this blue wasn't the right colour but there's no way I'm going to repaint it I may have to just paint over that though and do it a solid colour like I say but when you think it had them weird legs on and whatever yeah and the fronts i kind of wish i'd left those front things on now you know but never mind so the only difference that will be on the listing when i list it uh, i have felt that the these are still quite wet but they've been added on today because i put new locks on so there's not a lot i can do about that yet but if it like i say if i can't get it to look right on the camera to what it looks in real life then I'm just gonna have to solid paint it all right so oh I've just did oh we did hello you, you thought you'd come out did you me Eleanor look at the size of her Christ the vet's gonna throw a fit into me Hello? Hello? She's a pretty girl. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. But then, oh, do we like the uh, the foot attire again? Hey, new slippers, new joggers. But look at the state of them already. <laughs> Uh, and they got them just before Christmas well I, I didn't get them I, I pinched them off my son because now he's like a little stick thin thing they were far too big on him so I said let me see if I can squeeze my fat belly into him and I could so I pinched them off him so there they are so kind of new work wear they're not older yet anyway but anyway <laughs> oh but this is it I shan't bother coming back to you because it'll either be solid or it'll be like that. Alright guys, Happy New Year to you all as well. Hope you all had a lovely New Year's Eve. I didn't, I didn't do a bloody thing, but never mind. Anyway, if you like this video please like and subscribe and comment in the box below. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care guys, bye.